everyone, I'm Black Lightning. Here's my top 5 list of possible apocalyptic scenarios that could happen. We see a lot of end of the world scenarios in movies and books, so there seems to be some sort of fascination with the topic. Over 99% of species that ever lived on Earth are extinct. We humans have been on Earth for about 200,000 years and I'm inclined to believe that nothing lasts forever. I could be proven wrong in the distant future, but most likely I won't live to see it. So I want to talk about apocalyptic scenarios that are most likely to happen within our lifetimes. They can be sudden or a gradual shift into chaos. I picked the apocalyptic scenarios that I think are most likely to happen. This is my subjective list, so let's begin. Number 5 is Nuclear Holocaust. It's the complete or almost complete annihilation of human life through nuclear weapons. Modern civilization as we know it will cease to exist. Nuclear fallout after the nuclear explosions will contaminate most or all areas on Earth, depending on where the nuclear missiles hit. The countries that own nuclear weapons are Russia, the United States, France, China, the United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. Iran is currently trying to join this group of countries who own nuclear weapons. If these countries were to be at odds at one another, nuclear deterrence is what will prevent them from firing nuclear missiles at each other. Nuclear deterrence is used to deter other countries from using their nuclear weapons. If you launch your nuclear missiles, expect nuclear retaliation. Launching nuclear missiles to destroy a country will get your country destroyed in the process. This deterrence is effective against other countries, which is why it's at number 5. Number 4 is Giant Asteroid Impact. It's when a collision between celestial objects cause measurable effects. In this case, Earth is hit with a giant asteroid that will cause catastrophic effects on Earth. The Earth is hit by asteroids very frequently. They are small so most of them disintegrate in our atmosphere, but Earth has been hit by big celestial objects before. A Mars-sized planetoid collided into the Earth, which as a result, created our moon. There's many other theories, but so far the giant impact theory is the most accepted theory of the moon's origin. The Tunguska event, which happened in Siberia, Russia in 1908, an asteroid exploded about 3 to 6.2 miles above the Earth's surface. The explosion destroyed about 80 million trees in the area. Asteroids that can cause serious damage warrants attention. Earth is not any clear from life-threatening impacts. I'm not sure when it will happen, but hopefully by then we will have the technology to steer it away from Earth's orbit. Number 3 is a pandemic. There are more humans alive right now than ever before. With there being more humans alive right now and the fact that traveling around the world is so much easier, a devastating pandemic would infect us easily. The majority of humans are no longer isolated so when a deadly disease infects someone, it will spread like wildfire until a cure is developed. Of course, this would only be the case if this hypothetical pandemic is very lethal to humans, able to spread and infect humans easily, and if the majority of humans do not take the necessary precautions to prevent the spread of this hypothetical virus. I want to talk about the Ebola virus quickly. It's a lethal virus with no cure as of now, but the only way to get infected is from close contact with an infected individual. Precaution was taken, so that's why it didn't cause a pandemic in America. In my opinion, a pandemic can happen under the right conditions, but those conditions have not been met yet. Number 2 is overpopulation. Today, humans are living longer and humans are being born faster than we're dying. That sounds great, right? But not until you take into consideration of the consequences a growing population of humans will have. More humans means more resources are needed to sustain us. Lack of food and water is a huge problem for many of us. About 795 million people do not have enough food to live a healthy life. We'll see an increased rate of deforestation because we use forests as fuel and building material. The list goes on and the cons outweigh the pros. 
a world with more humans is not looking bright. Unless we can keep up with the rising demands of humans, things are going to keep getting worse. I consider myself a humanist, so slaughtering a few billion people to combat this problem is unethical to me. My solution to this would be to limit reproduction and find ways to help those who are suffering from malnutrition and unsanitary environments. I know this is easier said than done. We can already see the gradual rise in problems due to overpopulation, so that's why it's number two. Here are my honorable mentions. An alien invasion. This can happen, but so far we haven't detected any alien life yet. Huh. Fermi Paradox. Super Volcano Eruption. I'm quite sure most people have heard of the Yellowstone Caldera or Yellowstone Super Volcano, which is located in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. It would devastate the United States if it were to erupt. It has a low chance of erupting, so that's why it didn't make it on the list. Number one is climate change. Climate change is not a new phenomenon and the evidence of the Earth's past climate changes is in rocks, ice, trees, and fossils. We can see this pattern in which the temperature and carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere decreased and increased. So climate change would have happened anyways without our influence. What we did do was break this cycle and cause the levels to increase without showing any signs of decreasing. If it continues, we'll continue to see the sea level rise, the global temperature rise, shrieking ice sheets, and ocean acidification. This will lead to extreme weather events and more droughts and heat waves. The whole world is going to experience the effects of climate change, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to slow it down or reverse the changes. I believe the reason why is because we all have constant current issues or situations to attend to, and certain issues resonate with some people more than others. So until climate change becomes severe, you're not going to have everyone's attention. That's what I believe anyways, someone might have a more optimistic viewpoint on this topic. Until we as a species, or those with the ability or opportunity to do so, try to slow down climate change and figure out how to reverse some of the changes, if possible, the climate is just going to get more hostile to us. This video marks the end of Season Violet. The reason why I'm doing this is because the story on my channel is getting a reboot. The next season for my channel will be focused on vlogs only until the eventual release of the first episode. My videos have been so delayed to the point that these videos are starting to seem like the January upload period. <laughs> so I'll be back at the end of February or the beginning or end of March with the start of a new season. You can thank college for any delays. I've been sticking closely to the color wheel, so I'm quite sure you can guess what this next color will be. So that means a brand new opening, and I'm going to return a feature that I took away earlier into Season Violet. I'm also using this long gap to spend time on my story. Anyways, I'll be back at the end of February or the beginning or end of March. Whenever I upload the next video, we'll decide the new schedule. The end of each month or the beginning of each month. Thanks for watching and take care.